Hi guys, uh, Monday is back and um, FX Channel House as always brings you a cool tutorial for you to start the week. So uh, on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate these blocks, uh, how to put uh, this cool texture on it. And uh, by modeling this I'm going to show you how to put uh, different um, textures on, uh, on the same object. So um, it's a really cool tutorial for you and I uh, hope you enjoy this. So um, let's get on to the tutorial. Alright guys, so uh, this is the scene file that I did for my short uh, intro for this video and I just uh, grabbed some cubes in it and I uh, just pull it uh, on top of the of the, of the blocks and uh, just uh, make it like a rigid body so uh, but the tutorial is going to be um, how to put this texture on the on the blocks how to model the blocks with uh, this cool light and uh, how to animate this so uh, let's jump on a new project uh, make a new project, uh, put a cube in there and uh, I'll also put a, a cloner so make uh, the cube the child of a cloner and uh, on the cloner let's put this on a grid array um, on the count let's make this 20 here we're just going to put 1 and on here 20 again so um, and on here let's drag this to about 4000 that should be cool and in here also some 4000 so Right now you should have like a, like a grid like this and um, what we need uh, to do is animate this um, so uh, to animate this we need a shader effector and um, just just put the shader effector in but also we for the shader effector to, to work we need some noise uh, to animate this so um, let's make a new texture on this texture let's put the, uh, this to noise that's okay and on the noise let's just animate this so um, uh, uh, make a right click uh, put this to animate and um, also on the animation speed let's put this about to 07, 08 should be quite cool yeah it's already moving so um, this shader is going to, to glue on the on the cloner and it is going to move the cubes um, for the string that we're going to, to give it to it so um, I'm just going to increase a little bit the global scale uh, just to to have a different anima animation and uh, we should be ready to, to put this on the on the shader factor so uh, let's grab our, our material put it on the shader and if you press play you see that you you don't still have like uh, any animation or any movement so um, we will go into the shader and on the shading uh, let's put this to color and you see that we already have a uh, uh, some slight difference so if you press play again uh, you see that you only have like a, a little bit movement and um, also uh, the changes are only on the color so we go into our parameters and uh, let's put this off and on the position let's uh, increase the scale of this so as you see the um, the cubes uh, have already the, the displacement and uh, if you press play uh, let's backwards and if you press play you see that your cubes are already with movement so um, the scene is almost done so the animation is this and uh, what we're going to do now is uh, just model the this cube to, to look like the, the the animation that I did so let's drag our cube off of the corner and let's uh, make it editable so I'm going to press C and uh, just zoom this a little bit just so we can see it better and that's okay let's uh, go to our edit mode let's select this uh, this polygon and let's increase uh, this with uh, an extrude so uh, so so as we we can make this a little bit uh, bigger so um, we have our shape a little bit nicer and now what we're going to do is going to to the select let's uh, choose a loop selection and we're going to grab this part and we're going to right click uh, on the knife I'm going to put this on a plane and see the direction that we're going to need to to make the cuts for that light so I'm going to put this on a Z and Y the, uh, X and Z direction I'm going to make two cuts so we already have the cuts for the lights and uh, let's just uh, make uh, some modeling of this so I'm going to select again the loop selection I'm going to select these guys I'm just going to zoom this a little bit more a little bit so we can see this better so uh, that should be cool so uh, now I'm going to right click again uh, let's say extrude inner and as you see we already have um, uh, that um, that modeling that we, we were talking about so um, 
Uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to extrude this a little bit, uh, the depth to inside, and um, I'm going to to make a selection of this. So uh, as you already have the, um, this polygon selected for the light, we're just going to, to select, uh, set selection, and as you see, you already have a, a selection that, that is marked here just for this, uh, I'm not going to say, just for this uh, part. So uh, I'm going to create a new material on this new material, just put uh, the color off, and let's put luminance. So uh, on the luminous, I choose like yellow, and I'm going to put yellow again. So uh, just increase a little bit the brightness, just for us to have um, just a stronger light for that. So I uh, just just grab this to the cube, and uh, drag the the selection to the selection. So um, this way we already have um, how can I say our cube with lights. So um, if you grab the cloner, uh, the cube, the cube again to the cloner you see that you already have uh, the the thing that we were talking about so um, we're going to zoom this a little bit and if you press play you see that we already have uh, that movement and uh, also that uh, I'm not going to say that light on, on the on the block so but now we're going to just increase this a little bit so we can have uh, uh, when the when those cubes bounce in here, you you can see the the lights uh, on the interior. So um, I think it's a it's a cool effect to to have it like this. So I'm going to just increase a little bit more, a little bit more, and uh, let's put this behind. And if you press play, you see that we already have a like a similar animation that I did on the on that short intro. So um, you can uh, you can now. Uh, the texture and I've uh, just finished the tutorial so um, I think it was a cool thing uh, just to share here with you guys and uh, let's continue with this so um, to make the that texture, uh, that texture to work here you just uh, need to make a new material and of course uh, you, you have to, to grab a texture but uh, I'm going to put the texture uh, on the folder for you guys to download uh, and make a similar thing that I, I did here so uh, go to the texture and uh, click this and um, on the folder that you're going to have the texture just grab the texture put it on it that's okay and I need here let's just copy this texture and let's put it on the on the bump and just paste this as you see uh, if we increase this a little bit uh, you can see like uh, we have already our bumps and heights like uh, already detailed so uh, I'm just going to put <coughs> Sorry, a little bit of reflection in here, and I'm just going to grab a frag now. Put this a little bit lower because we don't want like uh, too much uh, reflection, and I just want a little bit. So uh, that should be cool. So what we're going to do now is going to grab this texture and put it on the cube. So uh, what happened now? Uh, if you put the, I'm not going to say the texture in front of this, so you're going to grab all the cube uh, texture and then uh, you have to bring this backwards and you see that we are uh, already have uh, how can I say like different center in here so uh, and on the texture uh, you have to go to to here and make it cubic so it looks um, a lot a lot better so um, and also uh, don't forget to put this on seamless because you're going to have like a, a better quality of the texture so um, and this is it and uh hope you enjoy this and um i also made like a studio for it but uh, i think you already know how, how to do it and um the only thing you have to do is like uh, render your scene animation uh, make your things and um and uh get ready for for more tutorials soon so um of course uh the how can i say the the intro that I did and the all that thing uh, you have to increase the render settings you have to put um, your global illumination uh, also your your ambient occlusion and put this anti aliasing to best and um, I'm not going to say choose your folder put it on PNG uh, so so that you can edit uh, then on After Effects and uh, put some backgrounds and lights and all that stuff and uh, make your thing and I uh, hope you enjoy this so um, have a great week and uh, keep uh, following uh, FX Channel House and um, we're ready to, to start working for the um, for this so uh, cheers guys